Hey, what's up, guys? Once again, it is MP4Podcast.com, bringing you guys some of the most interesting tech tips that you guys really do need to know about. Now, I've been a big fan of Play On. I wasn't really that big of a fan of Play Later uh, when it first came, came out on the scene. However, they have improved the uh, program a lot, where I'm actually going to give my stamp of approval on. Uh, so let's quickly talk about Play On. Even though this does say Play Later, it is Play On because I use, I clicked on uh, settings and uh, this popped up which is actually play on and they do use they use uh, play later will use play on if you don't want to stream to uh, media boxes from the computer so let me quickly give you a brief history of play on when play on first came out on the scene what it would do was it would actually pull in the FLV the flash file from Hulu re-encode that file to an MPEG-2 then uh, spit that out over the network and you can watch Hulu on your uh, Xbox 360, your PS3, and they even brought support to the uh, the Wii. Actually supports the Wii U now. Uh, Roku boxes and so on. And we're probably going to have support for the PlayStation 4. Sony has said they're going to add in uh, DNLA, I guess, whatever you call it. Uh, streaming media service, whatever. So what happened later was... What I really did like about that at the time when it would actually pull in the flash file, it would remove the logo from the um, the screen, you know, the bottom logo. Well, like I live in Boston, so if I'm watching uh, Almost Human, it would say Fox 25, Boston, blah, blah, blah. I hate looking at logos, and um, now I have to look at logos. So let me explain what they're doing now. Now what this company does, uh, play on, play later, whatever, it goes onto Hulu's website. This is actually a web browser. Even though you can't type in a URL or anything, everything is done in the background. What it does, it what it does now, it doesn't suck in the flash file because that actually uh, breaks copy protection. You know, pulling the files off of the off of Hulu's website. They actually used to uh, actually um, pull the um, the WMV files from Netflix and and the silver light file that Netflix uses now. And that's completely somewhat, I guess, gray area legal. So what they did to get around the program was they decided to says, okay, we're gonna be a screen capturing program, kind of like in Pager Studio. There's no loss in quality, you, be, you can't even see it. So what it does, it goes on to Hulu and it's actually screen recording TV shows from Netflix, Hulu, um, and everything. But you will see the logos on the screen now. Not really that big of a deal, even though I don't like logos. Uh, but what's really, really cool about it when you do use Play Later is that you will get TV shows with no DRM. That's right, no DRM. Not going to play a video right now because what's going to pop up now is because there's no DRM on the files, what they decided to do, um, it would say this video was recorded by Joe Schmo, okay? Um, and it would say, uh, using play later license uh, key at IP address will show your IP your email and your IP address they just did that because they you know say hey hey you better not put this on a, uh, a torrent site or something like that because we'll they'll know who you are blah 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 I have no interest in uploading TV shows to torrent websites it's uh, I have no interest in doing it at all um, but what's really cool about this is now that you can take I can take these uh, files, put them on a USB key, bring them over to my Xbox 360 or my Roku box, and I can play them. Absolutely no problem. What Play Later used to do was they used to stream, get this, I mean, they used to record uh, TV shows in MPEG-2, and they used to put copy protection on the files where you could only view the files on your computer. Now they have removed the, the DRM, and they just put the logo. You'll get this logo right here at, uh, at the beginning uh, when you click a file and at the very end that's pretty much it but as of right now you can record whatever you want so let's look at all the TV shows that you can record uh, here are all the TV shows you can record uh, there's also what's really really interesting is that you can add channels that are not on uh, their main program so you can get plugins. I added the Beavis and Butthead. Uh, some plugins may not work. Maybe they have to be updated. A lot of programmers will make their own plugins. 
uh, maybe you know the company Play On hasn't gotten to making a plugin for that website, so somebody else. So it is a somewhat a little bit open source, uh, I guess. So right over here are all the channels I have, which is really really cool. So let's say I want to go and record a TV show from Hulu, right? Now I'm going to look. Let's see if I can do this. I am actually recording with Camtasia Studio, so I'm using up a lot of resources right now. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it, Dell. My little Dell laptop can do it. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Okay, so my Dell laptop um, has... Uh, let me just... just uh, let's type in uh, Total Recall. Now, I'm a little geeky, as you guys all know. There is a Total Recall TV series, which came out in, like, 1999, I believe. It is on Hulu, in case you guys do want to watch it. Let's say I do want to record this TV show. I'll grab this show, and I'll say record. And right now, it is requesting the file, and it's going to re-encode uh, re it to an MPEG-2. I will see commercials, and I will get, um, you know, this... Like I said, this, um, actually it's recording right there. I will get this little, you know, video plan at the very beginning with my name, my email address, and my IP address. Now, if you do want to remove these for whatever reasons you want, I'll leave two solutions. There's a program uh, that I have. It's called Onyx. I forget the name of it. I'll leave some other uh, links in the description box and how to edit it out. You can also use QuickTime Pro uh, to edit that out as well. QuickTime Pro is $30. Uh, I think it's a lifetime license. You don't have to use that. You can use this other program, which is actually even better for editing MPEG-4 uh, or MOV files. So that's basically it. Also, uh, I do want to quickly uh, talk about, I think it's like $70 to buy Play On and Play Later. They get the whole uh, package, and I think that also uh, has the ability to record in HD. Now, when I got Play On, I got it in 2008 or 2009, I can't even remember, and I've been upgrading my license every year or two to new features. When it first came out, it was just Play On, and it was like Hulu, Netflix, and a couple of programs, and then they did, then they did the premium uh, license, and what that was, a lot more channels and then play play later came out and then I upgraded that I always do the lifetime license like they have licenses they're like three months or one year it's just best to do the lifetime license then you're done with it and last month I did I upgraded play on and play later play on was a four dollar upgrade to re record in HD and play later was another four dollars to record in HD so if you do get uh, your lifetime license there will be features that they will implement maybe a year to a year, year or two from now and you know you just pay a little bit of money you know upgrade your license to the new feature however the license that you do have um, like I, I could I could have said okay I don't want to upgrade my plan on license that I bought in 2008 or 2009 and it, it would still be working today. Um, I could still record TV shows on Hulu, Netflix, not record, I mean, I could stream them to my Xbox 360 on my PS3 or whatever, and it's, it would still be working. It's, you're just adding on to new features. So once again, guys, this has been mp4podcast.com. Sign up. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, have any questions, leave a comment below. This is a really good solution uh, for recording TV shows. I just want to quickly say, the, the, great, the great thing about Play Later is that you can stock up on TV shows and maybe somebody else wants to use the internet for something else. Maybe somebody else wants a game on Xbox Live or, or on PlayStation or Nintendo or PC gaming or whatever it is. And you can free up some of that bandwidth. Maybe somebody wants to, needs to download something. You know, you can have TV shows uh, stocked up, and so that's a really good um, benefit. Like I said, this is mp4podcast.com. Saying out, you guys have yourself an awesome day. Later, guys. Bye.